Greetings everyone. It is with great joy that I stand here today to mark the dawn of this year's Christmas Gala. Let's all put our hands together for this massive occasion. <laughs> On behalf of our Rector, Dr. Jonathan Addleton, our Vice Rector, Dr. Ivan Sunil, the faculty, staff and all students of FCCU, we warmly welcome our esteemed guests, board members, family and relatives. It is truly an immense honor to have you all here. Songs sung today, songs sung today would be in English, Urdu, Punjabi, and Korean. I would like to add obligingly that this is a time of worship and solemn thankfulness to our Lord God, who came in the flesh and dwelt among us. So kindly refrain from laughter or any type of loud noise. Please switch your cell phones off and refrain from clicking pictures. The entire team has worked tirelessly to bring this event to you, and a show is never complete without its true audience. So we would like to welcome our Heavenly Father as we believe He is here amongst us. The world has grown weary throughout the years, but at Christmas time, it's almost like it's young again. Christmas is the festival and a piece of one's heart that one carries with himself everywhere a time of giving and forgiving, a time of great joy and a sense of eternal togetherness, both with our physical family and our divine one. So on behalf of Foreman Christian College, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Thank you.
Thus, there were 14 generations in all, from Abraham to David. 14, from David to the exile of Babylon, and 14, from the exile to the Messiah. This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit, because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law, and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said to the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Oh, I am old. Years ago, 
the Spirit of God promised me that I will not see death until I have seen the promised Messiah. And my friend Anna the prophetess is old. She has been living and serving in the temple for many years. She is also waiting for God to fulfill his promise of a Messiah come to save Israel. We have been waiting and worshipping and praying for all this time. And now I think it's happening. My friend Zechariah the priest and his wife have had a son given to them by the Lord. It is said that this son will prepare Israel to receive its salvation, to receive its king. When this Messiah comes, he will not only be bringing political freedom, oh no, he will be bringing everlasting spiritual freedom and forgiveness of sins. But some will fall because of him. Some will stand here in the very temple of Lord where I stand now and will turn away from his light. As I stand here, I can feel Moses and the prophets of old standing with me. Zechariah the priest, Elizabeth and Anna and I, God has helped us all to be faithful and to wait patiently for the fulfillment of his promise. The Messiah of God would bring his kingdom in a new way. Then we will depart in peace.
I was sitting quietly at home when an angel of God appeared. He told me not to be afraid and that God would give me a son on the throne of David. His name was going to be Jesus. He was going to be the savior of his people. He was going to reign over the house of Jacob forever. And the angel said that his kingdom would never end. I could hardly control my emotions. Fear, joy, amazement all mixed together. And the wonderful thing is that my husband Joseph heard the same thing. But by me, I am not important or from an important family. I'm a woman of humble means. And yet who has he told? Two lowly women, my elderly cousin Elizabeth and me, a virgin. Joseph is a good man, but we are humble and not important. Our son will see poverty, hardship, suffering. Child I carry, do I get to dream? 
that he will make this world right that he will break the sinful hearts and cause the mighty to kneel now i'll sing my song of praise to my god to our god will you hear it my soul magnifies the lord and my spirit rejoices in god my savior for he has looked on the humble estate of his servant for behold from now on all generations will call me blessed for he has done great things for me and holy is his name Oh, man. 
wise men from the east have heard the living God. We have searched and watched the stars for generations. Charting the heavenly bodies, we have searched and collected the wise writings from all the nations, and we have studied them. And then we were sent a star, and not an ordinary star, not a comet, but a star moving across the land, so full of light and beauty and power from God that we fell on our faces to worship the God who had sent it. We searched the world of Israel to find out what this star could mean. Long ago, to Israel's prophet Isaiah, God speaks of a holy king who is to be born to the Jews. This king will restore Israel. And God says to this king, I will make you a light for the Gentiles. That's you and me, beloved. That you may bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. And as if that is not enough, Isaiah also says, that kings and princes of all the earth will bow down before the chosen one, this servant king. He also says that in the age of this king, the glory of the living God will cover the land. And at that time, all the nations will come to the light and their rulers will be born to the brightness. And now, this miraculous child has come to us. This king has been born. Many months ago, a new age has begun. Yet, why are all the nations of the world not laying down their bows, swords, and spears? Why is everyone not rushing to Israel to worship this king who has been born to the Jews? We have followed this jar to Israel. We were looking for a king, so we went to a palace first. But he was not there. We found only evil ones there. Then the star guided us to a place you would not expect. A humble home and a poor family. And there he was. And let me tell you, we are counted as wise and powerful all around the world. But we fell and knelt before this child as his most humble servants. You and I, outsiders though we are, have been promised a savior, and he has come. And even more, the day will come when what is written will be fulfilled. Every knee shall bow, those on heaven, those on earth, and those under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that this child is the Lord of life, the savior of the earth. And now that is a glorious promise to hold on to.
child is born. To us, a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Amen. Electrifying performance indeed. Now it's time for the core patriarch of the FCCU family to finally address us all. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the rector of Foreman Christian College, Dr. Jonathan Adelton. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. That was brilliant. Uh, also very inspiring. Maybe, yes, give them another round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the invitation to be here tonight. Again, such a special time and such a wonderful performance. Um, I am going to thank a number of people, uh, Ms. Joy, Ms. Susan, uh, Mr. Rohan, Mr. Asif, Mr. Rezwan. Uh, they worked with the choir, and again, fantastic, all of you guys. I mean, I just, I don't know how many weeks have been working on this, but this was spectacular, so thank you very much. Um, Susan, uh, I guess she prepared the students with the dialogue. Um, and also worked on the costumes. The dialogues were fantastic. I'm sitting here with notes in front of me. Those dialogues were done without notes at all. And again, real commendation to all of you guys that played the different parts and kept the, um, the narrative going. Um, I also have uh, Ms. Hena here and her team for making the decorations, uh, Dr. Lubna for receiving the guests, uh, Mr. Aruj and Mr. Umar, uh, who looks out after the general order of our, all of us that are sitting here today. Um, and then Rohan worked with the different offices to get the trees, lights, and sound system for the stage. So again, look at this. I have to admit, when I first walked in, the curtains opened. I thought, wow, that's really wonderful. And it is a uh, spectacular uh, Christmas right there. So, and of course, I guess we also thank the Building Works for making the trees, the purchase department to help us procure the required things, and the events office providing uh, the staff and some of the equipment too. So thank you. This is obviously a multiple effort with uh, team. Ultimately, of course, you all are the voice of the evening or the voices of the evening, which is really good. And I also want to look down to um, uh, Bishop Irvine and others uh, here on 
I'm sorry for me to see through here, but I see some people in the front row. Um, we have a number of guests here. Uh, again, I'm thinking from other schools looking a little bit further back. I see some other folks as well. Uh, thank you. This is a special evening, and we're so happy that you could uh, share it with us. My understanding, actually, is this is the, uh, the first time we've done something like this. Uh, again, I'm looking at Ms. Joy, and, and I, I do have to say that song in Korean, uh, Silent Night in Korean, uh, there were many special moments this evening, but that was a very good one. I was listening to Dr. Sunil. We gotta put that one online and see if it can get distributed around Korea. Um, I think the notion of the boys' choir in Lahore singing in Korean would be pretty uh, interesting for some people. Certainly, it was fantastic for me. Um, again, you didn't come here to hear me uh, talk, but I did want to give my appreciation. Um, and again, every time I look here and look at the set, look at the choir, I think, wow, we really are blessed. We really are blessed this Advent season. So again, thank you, Shukriya. It's been a fantastic evening. I would like to request the faculty, students, and staff to remain seated for now and let the guests disperse first. Thank you all for coming. You've been an amazing audience. Please remain seated for now. Remain seated. The ushers would be guiding you for the exit. 